this dude looks like he's made some very bad decisions in life and now he's really regretting it. On this episode of Not So Master Chef, driving to get the food. Yar. Alright, the challenge begins. Now we see him opening the envelope. Ollie has no idea what he's to cook yet. And it all comes from the letter. Hey! Act extract taken directly from Wikipedia. <laughs> oh no, I got this shit. <laughs> Um, beans. Beans. Probably gonna turn out all kinds of bad. <laughs> like many, many kinds of bad. Well, I know one thing. We're gonna have to get chilies. Yeah. And onions. And garlic. Besides that, I wouldn't have fucking clue. <laughs> See, I, but I was nice to you. I printed out a picture of what it's supposed to look like and everything. <laughs> what are those green things? <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Onion. Potato. Onion. There's an onion, and there's an onion, and there's another onion. That's an onion, but a little bit different. Here. There's a different onion, but we'll shun him because he's different. There's an onion, there's not an onion. Yeah, do we want the hot chilies or the normal chilies? No, that's up to you. You're the chef, or the not so chef. I've got to eat it too, don't I? Hot chocolate. Where for? Elevator music. $25. Take it! This is going to suck. Alright, got the ingredients, now it's time to go home and I have no idea what we're doing. And we gotta eat it. No, that's gonna go. Alright, so now we prepare to cook the chili con carne. We have the chilies, onions, salt and pepper and cumin and garlic, five mixed beans, mexi beans, dry diced Italian tomatoes, red spicy, extra garlicky dom domino so Tortillas, diced meat, and minced meat. And begin! Ooh, yeah. Fat songs. Because preparation is always good in any meal. We should know because we're not chefs. This is true. But we will be by the end of this show. Right, so Ollie, what's your cooking experience? I was working in kitchens. Cooked. <laughs> no, I did, um, I've done two and a half to three years of my chef apprenticeship, but probably won't help me because I don't really pay attention. I, I just sort of do what I'm told. <laughs> so I'm going to leave onions fairly chunky. Oh man, we'll start with one onion. We may chuck in another one later. See how we go. And. Takes the tops off the chilies. 
Why don't you take a nibble? Eh? Take a nibble. No. <laughs> no, my face is going to burn enough as it is. <laughs> it's alright, we've got milk. I'm supposed to remove the seeds for the chilies, but since they're the whole part, I'm going to leave them in. If we had a recipe, I'd probably say to remove the seeds, but since we don't have one, eh? <laughs> Chilies and brown the meat, I suppose. So, <laughs> my half plate with the meat. Alright, since we're cooking with the gas oven, light a gas oven with the match. I turn the gas on and light the match with the light. Fire! <laughs> Fire! Fire! Yeah. Fire! Right. Really break up that mince, otherwise it would be big, big clumps of yuck. So, have you ever cooked chili con carne before? Yeah, once when I was like 13, 14. The question is, did you have a recipe? Yes, and I still fucked it up. So, that's going to go well, seeing as all we have is this, which is from Wikipedia. Yep. What can go wrong? So hopefully it turns out somewhat like that. So that looks pretty good. But, I doubt it. We'll give that a bit of time to brown up. In the meantime... Oh fuck it, we'll put the other on here and figure it. Wait, am I allowed to say fuck it on YouTube? Fuck it. <laughs> we are now. So I'll chuck another half an onion in. So yeah, seeing as this is our first episode, we're just kind of working things out as we go along. And uh, each cooking show will be either Ollie or myself. And Ollie has some experience in the chef industry. Whereas I, I can cook steak and eggs. That's all I know. So, my episode's pretty interesting. <laughs> and we do have to eat it at the end. Both of us have to eat the meal that the other person produces. Tries to cook. To start off with, we'll suggest uh, dishes for the other person to cook until we get a bit of a following and then we'll take our suggestions from you guys. Just leave it in the comments. And then we'll take the most commented dish, or one that we really want to do, depending on which. If it's something really hard, or something like a puffer fish that could kill us, we probably won't do it. Unless we can catch a puffer fish. <laughs> Unless we can catch it ourselves, then, then we might give it a go. But in that instance, we may uh, actually look up how to prepare it properly, instead of just winging it. That's the only instance. Out of every other case, we'll just wing it with only a description on the dish on what to do and then go for it. Beef's starting to come along. Browning up nicely. That's about the only interesting thing I learned about cooking. <laughs> a little bit of mess up about it anyway. Right, so I'll start slapping this together. I might as well get it on the board. This Colin. This Colin's kitchen. I feel like chili con carne, we're cooking chili con carne. Don't know how to cook chili con carne, but we're giving it a go. <laughs> so so what, are you, what are you adding in now? Uh, we've got the onion and the chili in there. And if I can ever get this open. Put some garlic in. Good healthy amount of garlic. Keep the vampires away. Garlic's yeah, good. I like garlic. Alright, put in the tomatoes. No, I should be I should be around this side. 
for the MDL or the Mexi beans. Never had this stuff. Kind of smells like salsa. Mmm, <laughs> smells pretty good. Put the old beans in. Kind of chili comes down with that beans. Drain that out. Don't cook that bit. It's probably bad. Bit of iron is good for you. <laughs> We've got spicy sauce. Chuck that in. How much? Ah, uh, no bit. <laughs> <laughs> See how she goes. Bit of greenery for looks, not really for taste. Bit of cumin or cumin or whatever you call it. So pepper. Get more mix. Not spoon on that for the <laughs> Yeah, a wooden spoon. Mix her up nice and proper there. Chuck a bit of the sauce in. Just to give it that saucy consistency. And um, always light with the match so you don't burn your face. I don't have a matchbox in there anymore. Alright, I'll chuck that on and start simmering. Here's the hots. Uh, the old meat's going in. Give that a nice stir around. Turn it down a bit. Certainly looks like something. Let's refer to the picture. Hmm. Here's the picture. Look at that. And the picture. <laughs> uh, gonna let that simmer for a bit. Try to find a lid for it. Yeah, we're gonna let that sit there and simmer on a low heat for a bit longer than a bit. A while. <laughs> That's technical, a bit bit longer than a bit's a while. I didn't even care what the picture looks like. This looks fucking pretty good. <laughs> and I'm starving. Alright, so old oh, chef here's had a bit of taste, I've had a bit of taste and well, it's not very hot. We we should have got more chili, so we're trying to remedy that now with Paprika and Cajun seasoning. That'll do. <laughs> Should have put a bit of, a bit of spark in the old ringy. It smells kind of Mexican, like filthy and yuck. <laughs> Like it should be on a piece of stale bread. It's pretty much all Mexican food. Don't get me wrong, I love Mexican food. But all it is is chili and stale bread. And it's a bit hotter. It's eatable. Oh, the aftertaste isn't. <laughs> I think I got a bit of chili then. <laughs> I should do her. <laughs> so, chili from Khan's been cooking for about half an hour now. Nearly ready to come off. Give it another five minutes while we toast some tortillas. Tortillas. And then let it sit and serve it. So I'm just 
chuck them under the grill to make them more crispy and nice for dipping bread. Should be good. In Spanish, the word chile from the Nahatel chili refers to a chili pepper, and the carne is Spanish for meat. The original recipe consists of diced beef, sweet, dried chili peppers and salt, which are pounded together, formed into bricks and left to dry, which could then be boiled in pots along the trail. That it does. Looks good. That it does. The question, does it eat good? <laughs> You've cooked something, might not be chili con carne, but you, you've cooked it. <laughs> Which I call it chili con oli. <laughs> oli con carne. Because it's really not that hot, but there's a bit of chili there, we'll see how that goes. Well, there's two bits of chili there, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> She's great. <laughs> I guess she's a little bit hot after that. <laughs> but it's still good. I'd not feed that to my children and laugh my fucking ass off. But nonetheless, mission success. Ah, uh, no. Uh, first taste. Let's try and find the Right. Oh, hot. <laughs> hot, hot, curry hot, or hot, hot temperature hot? That's pretty good. It's really not hot at all. No. <laughs> so I think we failed a bit in that aspect. <laughs> um, well, I didn't fail, you failed. <laughs> <laughs> I cooked a good meal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so. Uh, it's not, felt not far off, I don't think. On looks, anyway. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We don't have any of these big green things, but... Beans. <laughs> <laughs> yes, then. <laughs> well, I think you've done well. I think I have as well. I surprised myself. And now, we shall consume it with this stuff. Yes. Fried tortillas for dipping bread. So, I give this a thumbs up. One thumbs up because it's not hot like chili. No, nah, but it tastes good. <laughs> Alright, I've enjoyed it. Give us a subscribe and hit that like button if you enjoyed what you see and comment what you want to see us cook. Tune in next time for some more Not So Master Chef. Next time it'll be my turn and I have no idea how to cook shit. So, have a look at that. That should be interesting. And I have a bit of an evil personality. <laughs> I mean, fucking smelling the cunt all day, man. <laughs> it's pretty fucking good. Yeah, it's really. I'm actually surprised with myself.